So here's my absentee in review. Yay. So while I was gone, a shit ton of news happened, so first off, Berlin. What can I say besides deport the Muslim refugees and exile the Muslims that were born in Germany, and I knew ISIS was going to claim responsibility? Honestly, the only good thing is this may be getting close to the end of the Merkel regime. Yes, I said it. I shouldn't have to say something like that. But it's the damn truth Merkel's done it's over for her. I've heard that Italy may be deporting their unwanted guests. The rise of a massive European resistance is inevitable. The EU is done. The UK is leaving the clutches of the EU allegedly if France elects the one who isn't EU and France leaves. The EU is done. Next thing Chicago the Windy City is in the news again for a Facebook Live video that went viral. There were some thugs slash hood rats who tortured a special needs person because he was white. I'm not racist let's get that out of the way. So what caused this? Al Sharpton spewing into white bullshit. Poor parenting by single mothers who only make babies to live off the system. What there is no father to be seen. If they had a father the father would set his child straight. And liberalism telling the parents that they can't get the belt because it's considered abuse. Now those kids mentioned Donald Trump. What these kids didn't realize it was the Democrats who were responsible for segregation. Hillary even referred black people as super predators and still thinks that way. Under Bill Clinton's presidency more blacks were incarcerated for non-violent offenses. Even with Obama he hasn't done shit for the black community no liberal in general. Ram Emanuel has closed a bunch of schools to the point where five-year-olds need to carry guns to make it to school. Now you may ask what other Facebook live video? Antonio Perkins was live streaming as he was shot. You people need to realize when you make these fight slash assault slash torture videos you're telling on yourself. Third thing I saw this as disturbing at the fact this exists. Missouri wants to pass a law that will charge kids with a felony for fighting even if you're under 13. This should really piss you off. Fourth ISIS thug shoots a club in Turkey. As I stated in my Berlin rant on the fate of Islam. Fifth the airport shooting. So here we go despite this man not being an illegal immigrant. This is bullshit. What the hell possessed that asshole to do something like that? This pisses me off since he's going to make Hispanics look bad. Sixth and final coverage the mall brawls. So as we know Christmas break the kids aren't in school so then we see these mall brawls. Honestly now that I am an adult and I hate how these teenagers come to these malls with the intent to fight someone. It's time to end the Christmas and Easter break for schools. No one should have to put up with the violent kids coming to these malls. There have been cases where kids will bring guns or firecrackers. This shit has got out of hand what happens if some thugs shoot up each other in the mall and an innocent life is taken? This needs to be stopped immediately. Before the government passes a very draconian law either banning kids from going to malls entirely, ending Christmas break, Easter break, and summer vacation, or giving the police full control over these malls. And trust me if you're not white you know it'll be harder on you with that law and watch the democratic controlled states pass- Oh shit I forgot something. Russia hacking the elections. We've heard this so goddamn much. They always mention they have evidence but never show it. So where's the proof? We have a right to know. Let's be honest it's another DNC scapegoat they can't take responsibility for their own actions. First you blame Bernie Sanders and his supporters and now Russia. The emails leaked showed you fucked Bernie over so of course Bernie supporters were going to sit the election out. Again unless you have physical proof that Russia hacked the elections the DNC looks like a bunch of dishonest motherfuckers. Welcome to Capital Tonight, I'm Nick Reisman. Liz is off and it's Friday so we have the reporter Dick Table. What's wrong with the teleprompter? It's the I reporter round the table, not Dick Table. Have a problem with that? Bullshit. You're the dumbest it's piece Dan of no, shit. I want to have the Liz show isn't go here so I'm going to take over out. the show, Nicholas, even if Stop it's in charge or not. Show. It doesn't make a difference who is hosting tonight. Fight me, coward. Stop talking, start punching, weirdo. I'm waiting. I renamed it the Reporter Dick Table. It'll bring more people in to watch your show.